Last week, the FDA amended emergency use authorizations for the Pfizer and Moderna COVID vaccines, allowing immunocompromised individuals, specifically solid organ transplant recipients or people with other equivalent conditions, access to receive an additional dose. I spoke with Pike County Public Health Director Tammy Riley to discuss who should receive this additional dose. Um, this is an initial dosing schedule for uh, moderate to severely uh, immunocompromised individuals. That's approximately 3% of Americans. Um, so that would be individuals you know, uh, suffering and, and being treated for cancer, solid organ transplant recipients, individuals who are receiving immunosuppressant medications for a variety of reasons. Although there could be some confusion, Riley adds that this shot is not a booster, and at this time, the additional dose is for the immunocompromised and not fully vaccinated individuals. Um, so individuals uh, receiving mRNA, either the Pfizer or Moderna, who would fall in that 97% category, would uh, require two doses um, of the Moderna or Pfizer, and then if you're in the 3% category, you would take three doses. Uh, spaced uh, three to four weeks apart, depending on whether it's Pfizer or Moderna. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. But earlier this morning, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, in conjunction with medical experts, made an announcement that starting September 20th, booster vaccines will be available for all U.S. adults who have received their second shot of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. Although many are ready to take their booster, the CDC says people must wait up to eight months after they receive their second shot to receive their booster. Riley adds that there are several steps before the boosters are made available as the FDA would need to approve the boosters and the Advisory Commission of Immunization Practices under the CDC would make a recommendation to public health. And then the State Department um, in Kentucky would send public health protocols and we would have our medical director sign off on those protocols before we would offer that booster shot. This also is the same process for us for that third dose for the immunocompromised. If you fall under the category of immunocompromised and have any questions about the additional dose, Riley recommends that you discuss your options with your primary care provider or to call your local health department for more information. You can also go to vaccinefinder.org. We have that listed on our website and social media page, but simply go to vaccinefinder.org. You can search by zip code. You can search by number of miles you'd be willing to drive. But there's ample vaccine available um, if individuals are wanting that third dose. My understanding is you would need to take your uh, COVID-19 vaccination card with you to the uh, vaccine provider and you would sign an attestation form that you do meet the criteria for the third dose. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jeremy Justice.